What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video I finally get a chance to show you all a brand new 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4. So let's get into it. All right, so I already had a chance to show you all the new 2024 Denali HD as well as the 2024 Denali HD Ultimate. So I'm pretty excited. Today we finally get to look at the AT4. Now, if you're new here, as with most of my videos, I'm gonna do a quick walk around the exterior of the truck, show you some of the highlighted features there. Then once we are done, I'll pop the window sticker up on the screen to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. And then we will go over the interior as well. Just to kick things off, I always like to start with the key fob. As you can see, we've got our lock, our unlock, remote start, drop the tailgate, panic button. And then we've got our GMC logo there on the back. Now, first thing we have to notice is, of course, that redesigned front end is absolutely gorgeous. I was a little afraid when I heard the, re the front end was gonna be redesigned, especially when it came to the headlights because I was such a big fan of the previous generation. But I have to say, GM, well done. You knocked this out of the park. It is a much more prominent LED day running light. You can see we've got that black housing that really makes it pop. You also notice we've got GMC written inside the headlight housing. You also notice we've got a new HD branding on the side of the grill. And then if we go down low, you'll also notice some new branding here. We've got this 2500 plate on the side of the bumper, which I think looks really good. Down low, we've got our fog lights. We've got our front parking sensors. You can see it's an AT4. We've got our red toe recovery hooks. AT4 logo in the bottom right hand corner of the grill. And then if we look underneath the GMC logo, you will see the front camera for the HD surround vision camera system. Now, MSRP on this truck is right around 75,000. I believe it's like 74, six-ish. You'll we'll see that in just a second when I put the window sticker up on the screen. Six, six liter gas under the hood paired up to the Allison transmission. So nice to hear we finally got the Allison 10 speed transmission on this truck. And going around the side, you'll see up top, there's your badge, six, six liter V8 Allison transmission. Obviously, if this was the Duramax, you'd see uh, Duramax there instead. Down low, we've got blacked out 20 inch HD wheels and they are wrapped in 275, 65, 20 Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT tires. Really nice wheel and tire setup on this thing. I love the blacked out look. Some people say it's played out. Yeah, all black wheels just look really good. The only thing I'd like to change is maybe black out the lug nuts as well. The one thing I complained, I complained about this on the new Canyon AT4 as well. I hate the amber markers on the fender. Some people, I guess, don't mind them. Really easy fix though. I know a lot of people either swap them out to a smoked set or you can just tint them. It just, I don't know, they look a little wonky in my opinion. It's my only real complaint. I'm gonna step back really quickly, give you guys a nice side profile view of this truck. She is a monster. Crew cab, finished in onyx black. Great looking truck. Maybe could use some side steps, maybe. You've got your power folding and power extending trailer tow mirrors. You've got your AT4 HD logos down there on the door. These mirrors are awesome. You'll also notice underneath, we've got another camera to our HD surround vision camera system because you know what? It's 2023 now and you can just never have too many cameras. Easy step on the side of the bed. Easy step on your rear bumper going around the back of the truck. It's pretty much business as usual back here. Nothing changed too crazy. We do have a new taillight design. In fact, let me go ahead and I'll hit the unlock button really quickly so you guys can take a peek at that. Give you a better idea on how, what it looks like. Once again, I'm just, I love the blacked out housings. It just makes everything pop just that much more. You've got a factory spray and bed liner in here. You can see you've got your AT4 embossed on the back, multi-pro tailgate. I'll go ahead and open that right now. Also in the back, you've got your LED bed lighting. You've got a big old power outlet to power up whatever you need. It's great for speakers. If you're gonna be taking this thing uh, to the beach or maybe tailgating for a Patriots game, go Pats. Tie down hooks, throw a dirt bike in here. You gotta strap that bad boy down, quads, whatever it may be, nice and easy. Rear backup camera, you've got your LED light at nighttime. Sometimes if you've ever hooked up a trailer at night, can be a pain that will shine the light right down on the trailer hitch, make your life a little bit easier. Trailer hitch is of course all set up, all your plugs, everything is ready to go. Rear backup sensors, and then I'm just gonna step back here and give you just one more angle on this truck so you guys can see. She is a beauty, I love this thing. If I were to be buying an HD truck, it would be this with the diesel in white. I know some people hate white trucks, but that's just, you know, I don't know. I like the contrast. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to put the window sticker up on the screen right now. I'll give you all a quick second. I am recording this in 4K. So go ahead and take a screenshot if you wanna save it, or if you're on mobile. If you're on a PC, you can hit print screen on your keyboard. Go ahead and hit paste inside Microsoft Paint. If you're on Mac, I don't know how to help you. 
uh, and that will allow you to save the window sticker so you guys can take a look at it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the window sticker down in three, two, one. All right, let's take a peek in the back. We'll start with the back and then we'll work our way forward. So in the black, in the back, in the black, in the back, you can see you've got your jet black leather interior with the Kalahari inserts, similar to how the AT4 has been in the past. You've got the dual stitching right here. These seats in the back are perforated because they are in fact heated. You've also got the 10 quart storage compartments in the back on both sides. You've got your drop down armrest that of course doubles as a cup holder. Hopefully the kids don't spill anything on you because that's usually not a fun conversation to have. If I lift up the seat, you will see you do have an under seat storage. This is great if you need to throw like a tow chain, uh, jumper cables, anything like that. And then when you hit the brake up front, it doesn't come all screaming out underneath. I'm sure we've all been there in previous trucks. On the back of the console, you can see here your heated seat controls. You've also got a USB-C and a USB port. So definitely plenty of places to charge if you're back here for your passengers. We've got the map pockets on the back of both seats. And then I always like to point this out. I don't know why I'm such a huge fan of these floor mats. I don't know, maybe it's me, maybe I'm getting old and I'm things like this make me happy. But so you've got your all weather floor mats and then these buttons, if you just yank, you can pull the carpet right out. So let's say you're gonna go to the beach with the dog and the kids and everyone else and you don't want to get sand crammed into the rug that you know will never come out, you can just yank these right out. Uh, it makes it a lot easier, at least in my opinion. That's just me. It's the little things in life. So a quick look at your door. I'll just back up. I know a lot of people forget the door, me included. Also, while I'm back here, since I totally spaced out on it, there's your third brake light and power sliding rear window. And once again, another camera, because just never too many cameras. I will show you how these power folding uh, trailer mirrors work here in just a second. Here's a look at the driver's side. AT4 in the headrest. And if you didn't see my new AT4 Canyon video, they changed this on the Canyon. AT4 is on the side on the bolstering. I love that truck. It looks really good. In fact, I'll leave a link to that right here for you guys to check out. It's an incredible, they, they knocked that thing out of the park. They did a great job on it. Uh, but yeah, so you get your jet black seats, Kalahari insert, same thing up front. You do have a new uh, badge right here. So you've got the AT4X badging right here on the console. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. And we'll fire her up. And I'm just gonna move the buckle seat belt to shift, just so you guys know, because I've seen that a bunch of videos. It is super annoying, but you can also disable it inside the touchscreen. I'm not exactly sure how long it goes. I want to say it's 30 seconds or so. I'm not going to time it. Let's see, stay in demo mode. I'll just go ahead and get this screen all set up. We're going to open the maps. There we go. I'm going to drive. I just want to get the sun out of the way so it's a little easier for everyone to see. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so I do go through this relatively quickly. I'm gonna start on the left side of the truck and then I'm gonna work my way to the right. Of course, if you have any questions or I missed something, uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. So let's get right into this thing. So over on the left, we've got our memory seat controls. We've got our power locks. We've got our power windows and our mirror controls. So you can see here, I'm gonna press this button, fold the mirrors in. I'm gonna press it again, fold them out, and then there is another button next to it. So this button right here, if I tap that, that's gonna go ahead and extend those mirrors out. So if you're towing a trailer, make your life a little bit easier there. Who doesn't love having their life a little bit easier? Down here on the dash, we've got our electronic parking brake. We've got our four-wheel drive controls, our mode selector, tow mode. We've got our headlight controls, spotlight over the bed, our gauge cluster brightness. And then up here, this is always like impossible to show in video, but you've got a 15 inch multicolor heads up display. And I'm gonna show you in the screen, you're probably just gonna see zero miles per hour blinking. Uh, it does it no, absolutely no justice whatsoever. It is massive when you're actually sitting behind the wheel of this truck and looking out the, uh, the windshield. Definitely something that you're going to, going to want to experience if you've never experienced before. It's just nice not to have to look down at a screen all the time. Just keep your eyes on the road, especially nowadays. Uh, on your steering wheel, you've got your heated steering wheel. We've got our forward collision alert, our cruise controls over on the right side. We've got our Bluetooth hands-free controls. And then this knob you can actually see up on the 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster. I'm just kind of scrolling through everything using that knob. 
as I go through nice and easy. And then anything you want to select, you just push that in. And this is fully customizable. I always like to show everyone, I don't know why they don't send it this way. I guess people like this uh, digital uh, rendition of the, of the truck. But if I go over here and do right side info, I can go down to time and temp. And that is my preferred display, time and temp. It's just a little bit more useful in the mode that I'm driving in, at least in my opinion. You guys let me know if you agree with me or not in the comments down below. Uh, some really nice texturing in this truck too. I always like to point that out. So we've got like some piano black. We've got this brushed aluminum, this chrome. And then of course we've got our leather and a Kalahari. Just GM has com combined, combined, combined a lot of different materials in these trucks to really level the interior game up quite a bit uh, over previous generation trucks. We've got our 13.4 inch full color HD touch display. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a game changer for GMC. We've had that old display that everyone's complained about. That is definitely not a problem anymore. Uh, the Google Maps in this works phenomenally well. Of course, you've got AM, FM, XM. You've got satellite radio. You've got Apple CarPlay. You've got Google Assistant. You've got a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. You've got pretty much everything. And I also really like the split display. So if I scroll down, it'll be my maps. You can go down to the analog clock, which I really like as well. You can set up multiple trailers with the system. So if you pull a boat, uh, you pull jet skis, you pull a camper, you can actually save those trailers into the truck. It will know, I'll, I'll tap right here, you'll be able to see, uh, add new trailer. So it knows everything that you're towing. Uh, this also has the pass-through camera. So you can put the camera on the back of the trailer. And when you look behind you, it's almost like the, uh, the trailer's invisible. If you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. I haven't had a chance to put a trailer up to actually demo it for anyone, uh, but it's a really cool feature. And from what I've heard from other people that trailer a lot, it is extremely useful. Uh, basically, no more blind spots. Um, you can set up your MyGMC app through here, which also allows you to uh, schedule service. You have Amazon Alexa, which is new, Google News, your podcasts. I mean, it does everything. I am very happy that we do still have physical knobs for our volume, and you've also got a physical button for your home button. So if you're ever like, how the heck do I get out of here? You don't necessarily have to hit this home button. Uh, you can hit that home button. Uh, what else? I will say on the Google Maps, because I know maps and connectivity and everything is kind of a hot topic right now, especially with GM maybe phasing out Apple, Car Apple CarPlay uh, in the next few years. Google bought Waze. Waze was the map that I used to always use, the maps that I always used with my CarPlay. It was pretty much the only reason I really used CarPlay. Uh, but uh, Google bought Waze, and now this map system I actually prefer over Waze. So solid system. Definitely give it a try. Underneath the infotainment system, nah, let me stop myself. I almost forgot to show you all the HD surround vision camera system. That would have been kind of silly of me. There's our overhead view there. You can see I'm looking behind me. We've got our trailer hitch view. We've got the curb hunter cameras, as I like to call them, really, really tight to the wheels. So if you're going to pull up close to the curb in the city, easy peasy. Camera over the front, camera over the back. You've also Got the spotlight to see what's going on in the bed. So if you put your kids back there and you're driving down the highway, you want to make sure they haven't flown out. Uh, definitely a nice camera system to have there. If you crash this truck into something backing up, I don't know what to tell you. It's probably a U issue. Throw this thing back into park. You don't have to be in reverse either to activate the system. You can just go into cameras uh, and it will load up that way as well. Uh, so back down here, we've got our engine start and stop. We've got our climate control system, our heated seats, our ventilated seats. It's digital as it should be. Uh, another thing that I'm very happy that GM has not gotten rid of the actual physical buttons for the HVAC system. Uh, if, if you're like me, I just like to be able to do it, turn the knob really quickly. I don't want to fumble through a touch screen. So really great job there, GM. Thank you. Down here, we've got our lane departure warning, our parking sensors on or off, drop the tailgate hazards, traction control, and then we've got our hill descent control. Going down here into the console, we've got, I don't know if you guys can see, but we've got a USB, a USB-C. We've got a rubberized section here. We've got a rubberized section here. We've got a rubberized section here, and then we've got our two cup holders, and then our trailer brake controller. I actually think this is a better place. I'm going to be totally honest. I have never really trailer. I don't trailer all that much. I drag a jet ski around. I've never had to use a trailer brake controller, but I have to imagine that this placement here, uh, you know, right where you're resting your arm, is probably a little bit better than having it up on the dash. You guys tell me. Inside the console, we've got a big old power outlet. So you've got your AC outlet here, another USB and a USB-C. We've got our organizer tray, and then that comes out. You've got a nice big storage compartment down there. You can also pull this out and use this for folder storage. So if you're like a contractor and you need actual contracts that customers have to sign, you can keep those all organized in here as well. 
Uh, over on the side, so there's your side view. You can get a look at what your door looks like when everything's closed. You do have the Bose audio system in here. One more thing on the dash before I forget. You've got your glove box top. You've got your glove box low. And then one more really cool feature that I love other than the moonroof. This might be one of my favorites is the HD Vision Mirror. Mirror, you guys are gonna yell at me for my accent. Uh, so this is what you would normally see when you're looking in your mirror, but now when you flip this, it is a full HD display. This was something I thought I wouldn't really like all that much. There is no lag. You can adjust the tilt. You can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the angle. It is a phenomenal system. I prefer it zoomed all the way out so you can get as wide a view as possible and not have any blind spots. Works great. Highly recommend it. Like I said, one of my favorite features that was a nice surprise for me. I didn't think I'd care all that much about it, but it turns out uh, I do. Inside, you've got your LED lighting. You've also got your programmable garage door openers, your power sliding uh, rear window, and then your uh, power moonroof as well. On star buttons. I think that's it. That's the, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. That's the pretty quick, I guess we're at what, 15 minutes now, 16 minutes. So sort of quick rundown of the 2024 GMC Sierra. 2500 HD AT4 she's a beaut onyx black crew cab $75,000 MSRP if you have any questions concerns comments don't forget to leave them down below as always I want to thank you all for watching if you haven't don't forget to smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in the very next video